On July 18, 1989, a young actress named Rebecca Schaefer was shot and killed at the doorstep of her West Hollywood apartment by a 19-year-old obsessed fan named Robert John Bardo. Schaefer was only 21 years old and had a promising career ahead of her. She had starred in a popular sitcom called My Sister Sam and was about to audition for a role in The Godfather Part 3. Her murder shocked the nation and exposed the dangers of celebrity stalking, which was not yet recognized as a serious crime. This is the story of how a star on the rise became a victim of a twisted obsession and how her death changed the laws and the culture of Hollywood. Rebecca Schaefer was born on November 6, 1967, in Eugene, Oregon. She was the only child of Dana and Benson Schaefer, a writer and a child psychologist. She grew up in Portland, where she attended Lincoln High School. She was a bright and creative student who initially aspired to become a rabbi. She also had a passion for acting and modeling and began appearing in commercials and magazines as a teen. In 1984, when she was 16, she moved to New York City to pursue modeling and acting. She attended professional children's school and landed a short-term role on the soap opera Guiding Light. She also appeared on the cover of Seventeen magazine, which caught the attention of television producers who were casting for the comedy My Sister Sam starring Pam Dorber. Schaefer won the role of Patricia Patty Russell, a teenager who moves from Oregon to San Francisco to live with her 29-year-old sister Samantha after the death of their parents. The show was a hit and Schaefer became a household name. She received fan mail from all over the country, including from a young man named Robert John Bardo. Bardo was a troubled and lonely teenager from Tucson, Arizona, who suffered from mental illness and had a history of violence. He became obsessed with Schaefer after seeing her in a commercial for My Sister Sam in 1986. He felt that they were kindred spirits, both shy and genuine, and he started sending her tokens of his ultimately deranged affection. He also wrote her letters, and when she replied to one of them, he took that as his cue to travel from Tucson to Los Angeles to see her. In 1987, Bardo made his first attempt to meet Schaefer at the studio lot, where my sister Sam was filmed. He was turned away by security guards, but he managed to catch a glimpse of Schaefer as she left the set. He was disappointed by her appearance, as she was wearing a robe and curlers, and he felt that she had lost her innocence. He returned to Tucson, but he did not give up on his obsession. In 1988, My Sister Sam was cancelled after two seasons, but Schaefer continued to pursue her acting career. She appeared in several films, including the black comedy scenes from The Class Struggle in Beverly Hills, where she played a seductive maid who has an affair with her employer's son. The film was released in June 1989, and Bardo saw it at a local theater. He was enraged by Schaefer's sex scene, and he decided that she had become another Hollywood whore who deserved to die. Bardo paid a private investigator $300 to find out where Schaefer lived. The investigator obtained her address from DMV records, which were then accessible to the public. Bardo also persuaded his older brother Edward to buy him a gun, a 357 Magnum. Edward had told Robert that he could only use the gun when they were together for target shooting. He had no idea what his brother was planning to do with it. On the morning of July 18, 1989, Schaefer was waiting for a delivery that, if all went well, could change her life. She was scheduled to audition later that day for the role of Michael Corleone's daughter Mary in The Godfather Part III in front of Francis Ford Coppola. She was expecting the script to be dropped off at her West Hollywood apartment any minute. When the bell rang at 10.15 a.m., Schaefer went to answer the door and was greeted by Bardo, who had been waiting outside for hours. He showed her a letter and a photo that she had sent him in response to his fan mail. She recognized him and was polite but asked him not to come back. She closed the door and went back to her apartment. Bardo was not satisfied. He went to a nearby diner, had a slice of pizza and returned to Schaefer's building. He rang the bell again and when Schaefer opened the door, he shot her point blank in the chest. He then fled the scene, leaving Schaefer to collapse on the floor bleeding profusely. Schaefer's neighbors heard the gunshot and called 911. Paramedics arrived and rushed Schaefer to Cedars Sinai Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead at 10.48 a.m. She was 21 years old. Bardo was arrested the next day, wandering a highway in Tucson. He had discarded the gun in a trash can and taken a bus back to Arizona. He confessed to the murder, 
and said that he was inspired by the assassination of John Lennon by Mark David Chapman, another obsessed fan. He also said that he had considered killing other celebrities such as Madonna and Debbie Gibson. Schaefer's funeral was held on July 21, 1989 in Portland, Oregon, where she was buried at Ahavai Sholem Cemetery. Her family, friends and colleagues mourned her loss and remembered her as a talented, kind and beautiful person. Her death also sparked a public outcry and a demand for stricter laws to protect celebrities and other potential victims of stalking. California passed the first anti-stalking law in the nation in 1990, making it a felony to harass or threaten anyone with the intent to cause fear. The law also prohibited the release of DMV records to unauthorized persons. Other states followed suit, and the federal government also enacted anti-stalking legislation in 1996. Bardo was tried for first-degree murder in 1991. He pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, but the jury rejected his defense and found him guilty. He was sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. He is currently incarcerated at Ironwood State Prison in Blythe, California. He has been stabbed by other inmates several times and has attempted suicide. Rebecca Schaefer's murder was a tragic and senseless act that robbed the world of a young and promising star. Her death also exposed the dark side of fame and the vulnerability of celebrities to the dangers of obsessive fans. Her death led to changes in the laws and the culture of Hollywood, as well as increased awareness and prevention of stalking. Schaefer's memory lives on in the hearts of those who knew and loved her, and in the minds of those who admired her work. She was a star on the rise and she will never be forgotten.